Hello, welcome to Spade a Spade TV. It is a beautiful brand new Wednesday, and you know that on this channel, every Wednesday we bring you the Sunburst Digest where we sit down with panelists and talk about critical issues and trending issues that is worrying our nation Ghana and the world at large. In today's episode, we are going to look at nudity becoming the new normal on social media. You remember that when we were kids, when you see a girl wearing a short skirt, you have a certain notion about the person. But now it has become so normal that people take camera, phones, set it in front of them and begin to undress. We are going to address this issue here today. My panelist is already in the house, but before I showcase him to you, let's go for a quick commercial break from Sunburst Healthcare. When we are back, we'll go into it. Hello, Abusiafo. But Sunburst medicated powder. Now, how are you from? Hey, I say when I'm in Swans, when yes, it's still. I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to talk. Oh, don't. Hey, Jimmy. It's what now I'm on my say. A crow. I don't. It's like a career. A yam. A crow. A journey per day. I was so. And no, yeah. Sunburst medicated ointment. A bab. Wow. My posu, my posu. I'm not going to talk. Who win? Pedro Bia, Onya, man, it's not how man who name you are. Who win? Masi. What possible? What possible? Complaining? Ina. Add so much. Cut off some best hair bar bar. You're from me, Mama Sunbest. Sunbest products. I do them. We bring you Sunbest products. I work pharmacy. Any hair bar shops? No. At the phone friend zero five five four nine zero seven three nine three. FDA. I did get the entry at two year two. Welcome back from that commercial break from Sunburst Healthcare. Now, the man we are going to talk with today is a social media guru. When I say somebody is a social media guru, it means that every channel, every handle, every social media, everything that is known as social media, he is there, except the Chinese WeChat. That's the only place he's known. But everywhere he is, he is your hypest hyper. Ladies and gentlemen, surgical law. Big man. Big man. It's good to have you back on the show once again. Thank you, my pleasure. Yeah, yeah, my and pleasure. You're, you're looking that far. I don't know why you've changed your hairstyle. <laughs> like I was trying to tell you behind the scene, it has to do with the decision of my hairstyle. Hey. Yeah, so I should make sure that I'm always looking quite unique and uh, different from the norm. Yeah. Uh, people are actually sitting on money. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, so let, let me ask you uh, how many social media handles are you on? Uh, I'm on uh, almost all of them except the one that you talked about. Yeah, the, um, I'm on every one social media handles mm -hmm. right now. First, from Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Threads, Likey to uh, X to. Uh, Likey still exists. Likey's still there. Wow. Snapchat is also there, so where would Likey go? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Snapchat is one of the biggest brands, you know. Yeah. Yes, Snapchat know, right. is rubbing shoulders with the likes of TikTok. Yeah, correct, <laughs> correct. You, have, you also a follower there. Yeah, I am. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, so, Sergi, yes, sir. do you encounter people exposing their nudity on social media? Yes, I do. And uh, just like you said it um, um, in your submission, it's it becoming a new normal. Um, all in a quest to build followers. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, um, people are too tired. Of, people have have grown to understand social media to be the new ish. If I say the new ish, I mean the platform where you can do business. There are so many keys I, I, I can break, but I wouldn't want to do that because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I mean, that is where I make my coins from yeah. because I'm a social media manager. So if I let those secrets out and uh, everybody can stand up and say, that means I'm a social media but manager, but I don't want to do that. But it's a, it's a platform, it's a space where people get attraction very easily. Yeah. You can get the numbers that you want very quickly. You can get the followers that you want very quickly. You can also build your content and your brand brand right there very quickly. So uh, with people posting and people dropping all kinds of things on their handles, it's just in a quest to build followers and also grab attention. Um, ladies and gentlemen and our cherished viewers, as we are talking, I don't want to show videos because of um, privacy purposes. So pictures will be flashing on your screen as we discuss this issue 
then you know exactly what we are talking about. We are living in an era of social media where somebody wants to advertise for someone. Now they take their camera and they'll put it there, then they'll undress. They'll be in their undies, their lingerie, and in their breeziers only. Mm. Then they'll be dressed. This same person is shy. This same person is shy to, let's say, let people even touch it. Mm -hmm. But they're exposing your whole, whole show to everybody. I, I hope you get yeah, it. Yeah, so is it that we are losing our culture or it is the new normal? Uh, basically speaking, we are losing our culture. This is because as Africans, as Africans as we are, um, uh, I, I grew up understanding that blacks are so, so very good at copying blindly. Mm -hmm. The foreigner, the organizer, the originator of these social platforms. If you take a critical look at how we buy gadgets, any gadget you buy comes with a, a manual. A manual. Same applies to social media also. It comes with a manual. How to use it, how not to use it, what to put there, what not to put there. Even cigarettes. It comes with it. They write on it, smoke it, it's smoke it that young. I will come, but people are busily <laughs> behind the corners blowing it. You see, so at the end of the day, everything comes with the manual. And should they take their time to read the manual of every social media uh, uh, page or platforms, they will actually understand that, whoa, they have totally deviated and violated the laws. So now, we are depriving ourselves of our own culture because of the fact that we are jumping on the new norm. You can't tell me you are shy in public where your mother, your father, your sister, your auntie is for a guy to touch you or somebody to hold your nipples. Even when they are dressing up and their little brothers enter the window, just shout, please, go, 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 But they are supposed to So, they, you see, see, that's why I said that it all boils down to copying blindly. Nobody does that anywhere. Unless you want to tell me that you, you are bold enough to do it like that, and when you step out, you do it like that. So we are infringing on our, on our culture. That's one big part. We are actually selling our nudity out there on a cheap platform where we are not getting even paid for. In fact, if you are making money out of it, somebody can say, okay, yeah. cool. But we are, not, we are making a penny out of it. Unless somebody calls you and be like, meet me here, meet me there, you don't make anything out of it. So you put this out there, everybody can share it. People will laugh about it. People will have all kinds of mindset, imagination about this girl. Hey, look at her. But at the end of the day, it's just imagination. Nobody comes to you, nobody calls you. You don't make any money. A friend said that um, Stone Boy, when he wanted to marry, he could have married any of the ladies he used in the dance videos, mm -hmm. but he didn't. Yeah. Now, that boils down to my next question. Is it that these young ladies, our sisters and darlings who are doing this, mm -hmm. do not know the value of a woman in the African home? I mean, yeah, I quoted so. here. Yeah, yeah. Is it that they don't know the value of a woman in an African home? Because, well, you know, whites, they go to the beach, they are in their bikini and they yeah. do whatever they please. Yeah. It's their norm. They yeah. say that's normal. But we have a certain culture yeah. to follow. So is it that they don't know their value? It's the fact that, like I said, copying blindly. Some of them do know their values, most of them do not. Some of them are very much aware that it is what it is, but they just want to, in the name of selling out, in the name of social media, this is ish, this is trendy, this is ongoing. For instance, when you step to the Cali when you step out in California right now, there are bitches is totally stoked with bikinis, where mm -hmm. those with uh, uh, sumi costumes and all kinds of hot ones and stuff like that, they are prone to that because of the fact that they are wearing that and all that and mm -hmm. accept that for them, so they can enjoy that and expose themselves like that. And it's it's it's, it's free. I mean, yes, you can see it, but you, you don't touch it, so they understand that kind of thing. But we as African, I mean, should we should we indulge into that? Then our culture morals are fading off. Because we live in a society where even we see a woman wearing trousers mm -hmm. as a yeah. red flag yes. because of the culture that we grew up with. That is it. It's very true. How can this issue be kept? Because it doesn't speak well of us. Yeah, it is. Everybody has his own culture that they follow. Mm -hmm. You will never see an Indian. You see, if you notice, when WWE goes to Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. to organize their crown jewel and most of their programs, yeah. when they are in the US, the ladies wear their fight yes, wear yes, covered, only like their yeah. pants, let me use that word, only the lingerie, the brazier, then they wear their boots. Mm -hmm. But when they go to Saudi, they wear overall mm -hmm. because it's their culture. Yeah. Yes. How can we curb it? I think it's, it's all boils down to, first of all, the leaders. Okay, the head of all of it is the government first, then boils to the leaders and boils out to the traditional um, chief and all these people, mm -hmm. they must be outspoken now. They need to rise up. 
and let the government probably whoever is introducing social media into our era now understand that there are certain countries that these things are bound. I don't know whether you know. Yeah. They bound social media in some countries like Korea, some other parts. North so Korea. These things are bound. And even when you get to China, face uh, this, how do we call it? WhatsApp doesn't work. Doesn't work and there. other meta brands so do not work don't there. work there. So they enjoy the TikTok, and that is where they believe they can handle mm -hmm. that. So they enjoy the TikTok a lot and the other, other stuff. Reach out but and yes. Do so there are some that are banned totally there. You are there not use because they realize that there are rules and uh, and how to use it would endanger their culture. They don't want their culture being taken away like that. So it's high time as we Ghanaians and also Africans rise up and be like, look, we are bringing this product to our markets, to our, our shores. Yes, we will take it, but make sure you amend it this way. Take this one out of it, take this one out of it. Anybody who tries to naked himself on the front of the camera, let the software go off or let the, uh, uh, whatever he's done doing everything posted, don't accept it, decline it. You know, there's made, there are ways of doing all those things because it's social media, it's just tools and uh, applications and then all these that. People can also say that the government shouldn't dictate their life for them because it's their life. Well, if the government shouldn't detect their life for them, the government then should then be ready for the downfalls of these individuals who are indulging into it. Because believe you me, being in front of a camera, a phone, and you're recording yourself doing that, you are outside there and there's these guys in quotes who actually saw your video last time and they imagine your figures. They wanted to harm you, time you at the right time when nobody is passing by, catch you on one side. To the corner there, finish you one time, you go home, go and report, police go and report. By the time they've, 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 they, they are... They apprehend the crime for them. The harm has already been caused to you. Yeah. All you know, they could be possessed with or having uh, um, HIV virus or anything. You are already damaged. You are already gone. You see, so they should be ready to be facing these things. And this thing will be, will be on high demands because of the fact that they are not saying anything about it. They are quiet about it. So no, the government should, 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 should let the people understand. It's not based on education. Let the, 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 the citizens understand that, look, what we are about to do, what we want to do is going in your own interest. It's for the fact that if you are going to show your nudity, if, if somebody by accidentally wants to show your nudity somewhere else, the software should decline that. It's our own good. We want to preserve and keep our culture how it is. You are supposed to be in Kente when you, are want, when you want to do knocking mm -hmm. or engagement. You are not supposed to be in a uh, cleavage dress and be we, showing We will come there. We will come there. But let me remind my viewers that this episode is probably brought to you by Sunbreast Healthcare. We have the Sunbreast Medicated Ointment the sun best medicated balm, sun best medicated powder, and also the sun best rubbing alcohol and the sun best hand sanitizer. If you get all these products, trust me, you'll be coming and be thanking me later because they are going to actually do the great deal of work for you from cleaning and uh, eliminating germs using the rubbing alcohol and also the sanitizer and also to clean your face and making it smooth using the balm, getting all joint paint away, that is the balm and clearing the face using the ointment. Get your skin smooth by using the medicated powder. So now back to our guest, um, Surgical. What you were saying before I had to LPM my stuff. Now, it's like the bride needs to show the breast for the last time to the whole we are saying for everyone to know that this woman is best enough for for Bristina <laughs> before they can marry why, why is that you see um it all boils down to the fact that the, the, the you see i have a big challenge with uh, uh, the arrangement of gov government and ghana the head leaders as a whole hierarchy from, from the top to the down man we are used to certain ways that I feel like it more or less like it is the norm, but it's not the norm. Mm -hmm. You want to tell me that you want to marry this woman that you and him and her have been together for some time and you want to marry and you've gone there to perform the right and the necessary dress code you need to be in has now become a fashion kind of way. It's been implemented by the Western culture. Yeah. They are the one who will choose to be like, today I want to be in Nike to for my engagement and stuff like that. As a matter of fact, our Orthodox way of having a marriage is even being shifted to the Western culture of having marriage. So that is giving exposure to the fact that what they are doing, we want to do it. So we copy them blindly. It is not supposed to be so. You as a woman, you are not supposed to be showing anything should you want to get close. From the Social media. From the beginning, what we knew was if you want to get married to a lady, just go and see the lady's parents. Good. Not even the family. Mm -hmm. The parents, yes. the dad, pay the dowry. That's it. And you are good to go. That's it. But now you have to do knocking. I'm listening for yeah. you. You do nothing. Fashion. Engagement. Fashion. 
when did no Asha. no I I before, omit, before I, I, I omitted one. something. Yes. Brida Sawa. Thank you. Fashion. <laughs> Fashion. Yes. What is Brian's house? Yes, yes. So that that's where we're falling short at. Then they'll do bachelor's party. Party. Yes. Four. Before they will do the wedding. Number five. Then they'll do refreshments. Thank you. Six. That is another change yes. of clothes. Very good. And all this time, mm. except for the engagement, where the lady will dress decently, this part they will be showing a generous amount of cleavage. Oh my goodness. About Shomu for four, mm. Obana for four. Mm. Mm. Bege. Mm. Mm. They will show you breast, mm. almost everything. Don't you think this also connotates to undressing on social media? Good, it is. So it all boils down to the fact that they are seeing the Western culture being practiced that of which we are, some of us have access to the Western culture people for public dance, social media platforms. So we see what they do and we want to implement it here. But just that African or Ghana Pussy hasn't got any law to prevent that. Also, he also practice it and get the people that he wants to come for their wedding and engagement. And so, should we get the law being properly handled here handled? in Africa? I'm sure that these things will, will be put a stop to. A stop will be You can't do this in Saudi Arabia. You can't do it in, 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 in any of the Islamic states. You, you dare not. Well, as a social media manager yes. or as a social media person, what advice do you have for all these people indulging in these kind of things? So, um, I have them in two folds. Number one, if you want to copy the Western culture, copy them properly exactly. Watch exactly how they portray their looks when it comes to social media, what they put out there. They still do it, they do the same thing and still get the numbers that they want. So why can't you do it? Number two, there's no need showing your cleavage, there's no need showing your nudity on mm -hmm. social media to get the numbers that you want. It's about your content. Have a good content on your social media platforms or your handles. Believe you me, people are looking for content day in, day out. If you have something good there, we will come for you. That is how it is. Those are the two advice I have for them. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Surgical Lord. He is our panelist for today. Or should I say he was our panelist because the show has already yes. ended. <laughs> He is a social media manager by profession. So when it comes to digitalization of your products on social media, this is the guy for you. Now, make sure that this episode, you share it and share it and share it and share it for people to know that nudity is not normal. It's a new form of madness that, is, that has been normalized into our society. So please share this video to a friend and let a friend know that social media, getting nude on social media is absolutely uh, no no this is surgical lord he was our panelist for today he has actually talked a lot he is a social media manager you can find him on all the social media handles just go there and type surgical lord and he is the one who will come he is your high press hyper if somebody hypes this man hypes the hype who watches the watchman this one so who hypes that who hypes you who hypes your hypers hyper? I'm looking for that person. That is a surgical load <laughs> for you. Make sure that you share this video so that people know that getting news on social media is not marketing. It's a no-no. It's a, a new madness that wants to be normalized and we are not going to condone that. This episode was probably brought to you by Sunbreast Healthcare. Make sure that you are subscribing to Spade as Spade TV on YouTube and following us on all social media handles. My name is Mabrantier Napo and this is the Sunburst Digest. Hello, Abusia for but Sunburst medicated powder. Now, hold your form. Hey, I say when I'm in swans, when yes, it's still never good enough to talk about what I'm a heart. Oh, don't tell me it's what's now. I'm a wire say. A crow, a dim. Saka kare re, a yam, a crow, a juni pede ya boso. Enoni ye, sunburst medicated ointment, a beb wow. Ma posu, ma posu, ni huna mi na tutu ni. Ni huwe ni Pedro biye. Onya, man it's na homa ho na mi ya enuwe ni masi. Wa posu, wa posu complain ni na. Add so becha. Potter sunburst herbal balm. Yeah, from my mama Sunbest. Sunbest products. I do trim. 
We be your some best products. I was pharmacy. Any help about shops in there? At the phone friend 0551 907 393. FDA. I did get the encryption.